Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, my name is Revti Baba. I'm an Indian who moved to the US like almost like two years ago. And I moved in January of 2022. And yeah, it's been almost two, it'll be almost two complete. I, I mean, I'll complete almost two years. And uh, the first year I was really very, you know, I was not, I didn't make a lot of videos on my YouTube. And I used to make a lot of videos before I moved to the US but then I, was, I just got busy but now this year I think I at least uploaded about 15 videos on my YouTube so I'm trying to share an Indian's journey an Indian's life's journey in the US so if you're new year and interested in coming along on this journey of my life in the US then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to follow me for more such videos and I will also be sharing you know and since I came here to do my master's in public health and I came here as a student, this I'll talk more about things about what an international student's journey, you know, what they go through and all of that. And like, you know, I'll be talking about an international student's life in the US basically. Uh, although I'm done and I'm graduated now, but I have a lot to share with you guys, uh, which I didn't share in the beginning because I was just... I don't know. I just couldn't make myself sit down and shoot these videos. I had just lost touch of it and I still don't feel I'm back at it, but I'll try to, you know, be back at it, which I'm trying by uploading these videos. You've already seen me upload a couple of last videos. If you, yeah, you're new, you wouldn't know, but don't forget to check my previous videos. I'm going to try to make them, uh, you know, be helpful because I, if you're going to watch my videos, I definitely want to, you know, I want you to learn or I, I want you to find it useful or helpful in some or the other way. So yeah, I want to bring some meaning to what I'm, you know, putting here on my YouTube. So yeah, if you hit the subscribe button and follow me on this journey, it would literally mean the world to me. And please excuse my voice. Yeah, my voice. Because I've got really bad cold and it's a really bad timing to get cold because it's today is the 24th of December and it's my husband's birthday and I got it like just like yesterday like I think yesterday or 22nd 22nd of December so I got it that time so just like a day before and uh, so yeah this vlog I'm just vlogging and I'm gonna be talking and you know I'll just be sharing how we celebrated my husband's birthday and you know i'll be sharing more so if you're interested then keep watching and yeah let's get into the vlog so before talking more i will add clips it's like almost i don't know it's uh, it's probably seven or eight the time will be here you'll see it so before that we went to bowling and i'll be adding the clips right now <laughs> How does it feel like to be the winner? Almost. Awesome. Awesome. Much, much, much later. saw the bowling clip so since it was my husband's birthday and today is the christmas eve christmas eve i think so i don't know 24 december just the day before christmas so almost in america everything is shut down like most of the restaurants are shut down or at least they close early than normal regular operating hours so uh for breakfast we like went to uh ihop which is like you know breakfast brunch place and it has really some it has good food and it was uh, open today and it will it it was going to be open till seven in the 
evening like right about now so it was open the whole day so we we went to have brunch and yeah uh, so my husband's best friend they were like best like friends and best buddies from school he is in texas he lives in texas so he drove all the way from texas just to meet my husband he came he drove to texas and came here to birmingham because birmingham alabama and the u.s is where we live so yeah he drove all the way from texas and he came here for my husband's birthday and also he does come every year to meet my husband that's just you know friendship i guess and catching up with your friend and so yeah the, he came so he came last night so we also went last night to have dinner and now we went in the morning my nose is blocked it's the worst thing ever i, I mean i can't breathe literally it's that worse tell me if you guys can relate like you know when you have cold and you have to constantly do like that because you know this one side of your nose is blocked it's horrendous it's horrific i'm just going through it and i don't know if from my face you can tell or not i've got cold but my face looks dull because that's what cold does to you and it's getting back to the topic so yeah we went in the afternoon we had some nice brunch and then we uh, now we went to bowling to play bowling at about 4 4 30 and even the bowling was only open till six o'clock so we played till six and then we came home and now he's, he's hanging out with his friends and i just thought you know i want to watch some youtube channel so watch some one of my favorite youtuber mridul sharma has uploaded her love story with her fiance uh and they've dated since 12 years i don't know i'm sure you guys know mridul sharma she's one of my favorite youtubers i've been following her since five years so i really love her youtube videos and yeah I love her so I'm, I'm actually gonna now i i just saw she put it now basically she was waiting for her couple video couple channel basically they've started a new couple channel on youtube uh so she was waiting for that channel to hit 100k subscribers and that's when she would upload her love story video so now i'm really excited to know their love story and i'm gonna watch that while my husband's hanging out with his friends and yeah that's 24 december for you guys now nothing's gonna be open in the u.s there'll be only uh wall no what is that uh that's also waffle house there's a restaurant called waffle house which is where they have restaurants throughout the u.s which most of the restaurants in u.s are there there throughout the u.s like they have a chain and it's all there any restaurant so uh it's just a standard way of, standardized way of restaurants in the u.s which we I, I i never found in india that common it's not so yeah that's quite interesting so the apple house is apple house not apple house waffle house is open all 365 days and purple onion uh purple onion or purple ring purple onion rings i don't know that restaurant it's like a mediterranean greek food restaurant it's also open throughout the year and uh yeah I don't know if you guys are interested in knowing this, but these two restaurants and Purple Onion is only in the south. If Alabama is in the south of the United States, so it's only in this area. It has restaurants, so yeah, you won't get to see it in New York, Chicago, or other states up there. So yeah, so that's also open. So if we feel hungry, we might go. But I'm I don't I don't have that much of appetite, so I really don't care. And also that the fact that you know my husband's best friend came here, I would like you know to you know you don't need a bunch of 10 friends seven friends or quantity people if you have like one good friend who you can count on and you know who's like your ride or die ride or die i think that's enough like as you grow older you realize the value of quality people in your life rather than having quantity people and for sure in my life i've always had few and good and you know genuine people in my life who really love me who really care for me and you know who would be there like on a call who'll be there for me it's sad that now i've moved here so i don't have anyone here in america but in india i always had people who were there for me and who i could count on so i miss having those kind of friends and i'm gonna drink green tea because for my you know because of my cold i feel like drinking hot and it helps me so feels good so as i was saying you just need quality people in your life like 
as a grown up as an adult now at 28 i don't want drama i don't want people who you know talk bad about me who judge me you know who i can't deal with that shit man now not i couldn't deal it back when i was young in my early 20s and definitely not now i want people with whom i can be my truest self talk bullshit talk shit like you know laugh and ha ha, ha. you know i can just you know be me and you know we can just have a good laugh people with whom i can laugh i can play i can be myself and they don't expect to me to be some you know their imagination of expectation i cannot hang out with those kind of people no i am so confident in who i am and how i am i don't want to be anybody but me i love me so i want to hang out with people who love me and who don't expect me to be anything of their imagination you know you need friends like that friends company family anything i cannot deal with people like otherwise and yeah and i'm a pretty you know i'm a straightforward person i'm going to say it to anybody's face if i don't like what they do to me you know i have a certain limit uh which i think people should always say what they feel and not keep it in their heart like if somebody is offending you crossing your boundaries just say it you don't have to lick anybody's asses to have maintain relationship maintain friendships no i have never been that person i cannot i cannot deal with people's shit if they're going to give me shit they will get shit that's how i am i don't i don't care if i have to be alone i'll be alone but i'm not going to be with people who are going to bring me down or say bad to me or say bad to my husband or say bad to my family you cannot you cannot do that to me i will not deal with that shit ever i don't care and to be honest there's only two people who matter in my life and that's my husband and my mother two people rest of the world can go fuck themselves i don't care my mother and my husband that's all that matters i love these two people to death i can die for them and accept them rest of the world i couldn't care any less about what they have to say really after moving here i know my mother came you know when i was sick my mother came like that on a flight for me Sh- I have my mother I don't need nobody I have my husband I don't need nobody nobody is going to be there for me but these two people you know So yeah you just need one or two people and you're good to go And you know what I've been noticing in the past couple of you know uh I'm just ranting but you know I'm just being real with you guys I'm I don't know if you I'm sure this is like This is like you know if you guys are going through the same shit you would uh relate to me so yeah i hope you can relate to me in some way really i mean you know as i've grown older i've just realized nobody is there literally for you it's only your family and my family is in india so even they can't be there but you know my mother will always come in a anything happens she'll come for me like that and my husband also anything so yeah they just make my life good i'm just you know before i was complaining about uh, not having friends here i was being very see i do, i family i don't miss my family that much as much as i miss having my friends here my best friends because you know i always hanged out with my friends and all so i don't have friends here i have but you know we don't hang out that much because i live with my husband and they live with each other so you know the relationships are different the dynamic is different if i would live with them i would have friends too i would have people too but since i was living with my husband and i married him and you know i, I invested my time and energy in him i don't have friends. friends now and i don't regret that at all my husband is literally the best thing that has ever happened to me in the us like the single most best thing so uh, yeah as i was saying i was complaining i used to i always tell like i was telling my husband all the time i don't have friends i'm so alone i miss my friends and this and, but now i have just realized i have to accept the fact that what it is my life right now that i chose to move to the us and this life now that i'm living is my choice so i have to accept as it is and not i can take efforts to make friends or i can stop you know cribbing about not having friends it's either you make changes happen in your life or accept it and move on so yeah i'm actually now 
getting better the past couple of months have been like oh my life my life was so good in india but my life here is so bad my husband is good like he's the best he's it's what well, i just miss having all the people i had in india which i don't have it here i miss all of that and if you are someone who has moved to a country like me then you would understand this but otherwise you wouldn't and yeah i'm also a very like i don't like make i don't i'm not i don't like talking to people i can sense a, any person's vibe and i know this person is a bitch or a good person so i don't try to make friendships with people i know are not good you know i just i am a grown up i'm not going to make friends who are going to be shit as friends family anything i'm not going to deal with that shit no my time is too precious to deal with anybody's shit or people who are shitty so having that said yeah now i'm just going to accept what it is and either i'm going to take measures to change it or accept it and i am trying it so i'm better today by by the end of this year i feel i've become better yeah the second half of the year was sad for me the first half was good and yeah i miss india I've, i'm always going to miss india but now i'm just going to accept the reality and now this video is already so long so Anyways, let's watch YouTube and I'll take you guys along. So stay tuned. Dinner time. Time to make some bye bye. This is like a Napoli Maggie. Napoli version of Maggie. Yeah, that's for all of them and that's for me. The next day. Time to go for a walk. <laughs> Much, much, much later. We went to walk. We walked in the park. We actually first went to the Oak State Mountain Park, but that was closed. So we went on this trial and we walked there for an hour. And now we're going to go for dinner. We're going to go to this Chinese buffet restaurant. And yeah, and since today is Christmas, and I'm going to be, you know, I'm, I got this Selena Gomez's like rare beauty red lip and I have never used it. I have this lying in my wardrobe since almost like, I don't know, six months. I have I, I don't feel like putting red lips nowadays, but I'm going to finally put it because it's Christmas. So why not, right? So yeah, let's go ahead. <laughs> I like nude lips nowadays. I don't I used to love dark lipsticks but not anymore. I guess that with age and everything, I don't know, your choices and your choices just in general just keep you know changing. As usual I always apply my lipsticks out of my lips and then I have to correct it like this. So this is how it looks. The formula is quite glossy. I thought it was going to be a matte lipstick. But I don't know. Maybe it will dry. But I like I like this. It's a nice red lipstick. I think my face is looking good. It's been a while since I, you know, wore a red lipstick. And I'm definitely loving it. Yeah, definitely loving it. So, yay. I'm so hungry. I'm starving. Can't wait to go and eat food. Although because of my cold, I have I literally can't taste the food. I don't know if I've gotten COVID or what, but I can't taste the food. But it normally happens in cold. So I don't think I've got COVID, but just cold has made me, you know, like my nose is blocked and I can't taste. So that's really bad. I'm going to... Since I'm going to be eating in buffet, I want to, you know, let my hair be, I'll just put it back up, right? I don't know. I look pretty good though with open hair, but my husband loves it tied up. He's like, put it up. It looks better like when it's back. So <laughs> I just do it that. I just do like, I do most of the times what my husband suggests. Most of the times, not always. So, yeah. So, we're ready to go and have Christmas dinner.
also gonna wear this because why not it's christmas right this looks appropriate for the occasion <laughs> like so much which of course you know if you're gonna go to a buffet what else can you expect right so i ate a lot and yeah the lipsticks formula rare beauties lipsticks this this lipstick is really 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 good i don't know it is like the perfect red lipstick but i thought it's gonna dry and you know become matte it is matte but it is like moisturizing matte i know right it sounds so crazy but i could not i cannot believe that a matte lipstick can literally be so moisturizing but yeah this lipstick right here it's moisturizing i love the formula and i love it i love it i don't know the lighting might not make it look really very red but it's like the perfect red and it's matte and it's moisturizing like after putting it on your lips i'm definitely not gonna feel dry or anything so i love selena's rare you know this matte red lipstick love it definitely recommend it and yeah i'm gonna try more lipsticks from her brand for sure i really don't apply that much makeup at all actually at all so investing in makeup is just like actually investing in anything i don't put anything on my face like anything except like just because it's cold here most of the time my skin gets dry so i need to put something on my skin and that's it i never put makeup i never like never ever like the last time i put makeup was i don't even remember it was probably like in a year i might have put like three four times max makeup so that is like literally the like literally the least amount of times i've worn makeup so yeah i don't even put lipsticks i have so many lipsticks and that's like every girl's life story isn't it we like to collect things but we don't like to use them but yeah finally i you know use this lipstick which i had from months so yeah i'm glad i used it now i love it i love it on my face how it looks and yeah it was an awesome you know dinner that we had and now we could all watch movie together and call it off for night so this was the vlog you guys how we celebrated my husband's birthday and christmas and yeah that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed watching the vlog and if you did and if you're thinking i didn't get my husband's birthday cake then i actually did cut it on 23rd december but i didn't vlog it on that at 12 o'clock midnight we were at his friend's house and we were playing uno cards and we cut cake and you know had an awesome time so yeah I didn't I do have a recording which I'll put it here of him blowing the candle. So my husband's favorite cake is tiramisu. So we got him tiramisu cake on twenty third. On twenty fourth of twelve AM we cut his cake and yeah. So that was his birthday celebration, y'all. And because of my cold and because everything's closed on twenty four and twenty five that was all we could do but that's a lot we did do a lot and it was fun so i'm not gonna complain and i hope you enjoyed and yeah i'll see you soon in my next video which let's see if it comes before this like before the end of this year or not but if it comes you guys will see it so i hope you enjoyed my pre I, I hope you've been enjoying my previous videos and yeah stay tuned for more videos and my hands are pain you know anyways so don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like share do all the good things and i'll see you in my next video bye